Hello, this is Patrick Flores, Product Manager for Pro Audio at Eventide, and this is a brief overview of the Emote 2.0 software. When you open Emote, you'll be welcomed by the Devices page, where you can find and connect to your H9000. Welcome to Emote 2.0. The first thing you'll see is the new Combined View in Emote. The Combined View is divided onto four separate windows. Your Browser window, your Effects Chain window, your Routing Matrix, and finally, your Parameters window. The Browser window to your left is now organized using four different tabs. Sessions, Effects Chains, Algorithms, and presets. All of the factory presets and user presets will be saved under the browser window. You can also hover over a session or effects chain preset for a quick glance of its containers. In this example, let's load a session called Guitars Galore, simply by dragging this session to the right window. A session settings dialog box will pop up which gives you the option to change or retain your previous session settings. Next to your sessions, you can access the factory or user-made effects chain presets. You can delete any effects chain by dragging it back to the browser window and dropping it while it says delete. You can load any effects chain presets onto any available slots in your session or overwrite an already existing effects chain in your session. Next to the effects chains tab, you can access your algorithms. Clicking algorithms will expose all of the available algorithms in your H9000. There are over 1400 algorithms, so to help narrow these down, you can filter out your selection by choosing an effect type, a product type, an instrument type, a source type, or the ins and outs available per algorithm. For this example, Let's set the filter effect type to reverb. Once you find the right reverb for you, simply drag it into the correct effects chain's routing matrix. By clicking the presets tab in your browser window, it'll show you all the available presets on your currently highlighted algorithm. Up at the top of your window, you'll see the all new toolbar. Over to the left of the toolbar, you can show or hide your browser window. Next, by clicking the 9K icon, it'll take you back to the Devices page. You can update your H9000 software through the Devices page by clicking on the Update button under Firmware. Clicking Updates will show you all of the available updates for your H9000. To update your H9000, your computer must be connected to the internet. Clicking on the gear icon will give you access to all the settings on the H9000, including your clock, digital audio mode, network, and other settings. Next, you have the Direct I.O. menu. Direct I.O. will let you connect any I.O.'s input directly to any I.O.'s output, which bypasses the effects chains altogether. New to Emote 2.0 is Scenes. We'll dive into this a little later. Then, we have our view options. First, we have the all-new combined view. This is a default view for any time that you launch Emote. In the combined view, you can adjust the size of each window to give you more or less room to work with for each window. If you'd like to only focus on a specific window, you can click on any of the three other options. Over here, you have your dedicated effects chains view. Then, you have your dedicated algorithms view and routing matrix. And finally, you have your dedicated parameters window. In this video, let's stick to using the combined view. If the text and images in Emote are looking too small or too big for your preference, 
You can adjust this by going to the menu bar and selecting View, Zoom In, or Zoom Out. You can also use the key command shortcut of Command Plus or Minus. In the center of your toolbar, you'll see your storyline. All the way to the right, you'll see your global tap tempo, mute, and bypass buttons. The combined view is a great way to work in emote. You'll be able to jump between any algorithm and effects chain without changing pages or interrupting your workflow. If I want to edit SB2016 on my first effects chain, I can simply just click on that algorithm and it'll expose its parameters. If I want to work on my second effects chain, I simply have to click that effects chain and it will highlight that routing matrix and the algorithms within it. You can also navigate these options without even touching your mouse. You can simply hit command one through four to select an effects chain and then hit option one through four to select an algorithm within the currently highlighted effects chain. Loading an algorithm is the same as loading a session or effects chain. Just simply grab an algorithm and drag it into your routing matrix and route it in series or in parallel. Connecting your I.O. is the same as before. Simply select your desired I.O. and connect these to your algorithms ins and outs. You can right click on any parameters to map it to any available source. You can map it to a function knob, which allows you to map multiple parameters to be controlled via one knob. You can also use this to automate emo in your DAW. You can also map the parameter to an external MIDI controller or any other available sources. Once you're happy with your selection, click Apply. Next, let's check out how scenes work with Emote 2.0. First, let's create a new scene map by clicking the plus button. Once we created a scene map, it's time to select a trigger source. We can select from Program Changes, Note On, and CC Messages. You can also select between your different receive channels. In this scene map, we're going to use Load by Number, Program Changes, and Omni as our receive channel. Now we can start creating scenes. Press the plus button next to any scene that you'd like. This will allow us to customize actions specifically for this scene. In this scene, let's bypass the first algorithm in Effects Chain 1. Next, activate your scene map. Activating the scene map will allow you to trigger any actions that you have mapped. Now that the scene map is active, you can see that clicking our first scene will bypass the algorithm in Effects Chain 1. We can now map Scene 2 to enable or activate that same algorithm. Finally, you can right click on any scene in your scene map to perform a scene capture. This will make a copy of your H9000's current state and create a scene for it. There are many more things to do in Emote 2.0 that we didn't cover here, and if you'd like to dive in deeper, we have included the manual built into Emote 2.0. Simply go to Help and click User Guide. This will direct you into the Emote portion of the new H9000 manual. You can also get to this by clicking Command G. I hope this helps you get started with Emote 2.0, and we can't wait to hear the music and sounds you create with the H9000.